All right. Do we have sound on Facebook now? Can you guys hear me on Facebook? Since I'm not getting any comments, I'm kind of concerned that no one can hear me on Facebook, which is, uh, you know, why do you change stuff? That That's the question I have. Why would I change anything? Um, let me go here. And sorry, Instagram guys, you can hear all that uh, crazy noise. It's good now. Okay, good, good. Woof. It's going to say last minute. Got to get everything put together. All right. All right. So tonight we're going to talk about soft tops. Um, and uh, it's that it's almost that time of season, at least. Well, depending where you guys are at, I'm sure it's that time of season for a uh, uh, for soft tops here. I might actually have to like take a mini break and grab another jacket inside the workshop because it's a little nippy, but it's not bad. The snow's almost all gone which is great and um, I'm happy with that so anyway all right so we still got people coming in awesome 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 so happy Easter everyone um, I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, you did your Easter egg hunt hopefully right right so uh, I didn't get to do that I guess that's uh, since I have no kids that's you know a drawback to not having kids but uh, and I'm not going to get out there and hunt Easter eggs, or or maybe I would. Well, anyway, we won't get into that. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and kill the timer. It says we've got two minutes and 45 seconds, but that's fine. Let's just get into it. So tonight we're going to talk about soft tops. So let me start. Let me preface soft tops and where you can get a soft top. In other words, what I'm really saying is uh, getting a soft top. And if my mic is too hot on Facebook, let me know, guys. But um, you can put a soft top, of course, you know, on a D90. D90 is considered a three door. So the white one behind me um, for Instagram guys, white one there, that's a D90. So three door. Um, of course, you know, that's where you generally see soft tops is on the D90. The next one you can do a soft top on is the D110, which is considered a five door. Um, well, let me rephrase that. D110. So there's a couple different D110s. There's a D110 five door that you can do a soft top on. That's what Elizabeth is. That's a five door because you count the rear door as one of the doors. And then there's also a variation called the D110 three door. So I don't know some of you guys that you know we've been uh, that you've been following me for a while. You probably or possibly remember the fire truck, the fire chief, the red D one ten three door. So you can put a soft top on that also. And then there's the D one ten double cab. You look on Helderberg.com, you'll see the double cab, which is called Hayrod. That's the name that that one has. You can put. Um, it's not really a soft top per se but you can't put a soft top on it but it's it's more or less a uh, cargo cover let's put it that way or over the rear and then d130 which is enzo behind me right there um, of course you can do the cargo cover on the back of that one too so d110 soft top i think uh the three door just has the best lines and it's also going to give you more options when it comes to tops. It's just uh, when you do the D110 five door as a soft top, it's just uh, fitting around those second row doors is a little odd. So that's what that is. So it makes it a little difficult. OK. All right. So D90. Let's focus on the D90. Let's talk about that because that's the most popular. And uh, what I want to do is I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you on Instagram. It's going to be a little weird, but I'm going to have to hold the camera and point it to the screen on Facebook because I do have some images that I can show you guys and we'll go from that. So um, I'll, I'll show you the different types of frame systems that you can use when it comes to a D90 soft top. And what I mean by frame systems is you have to have some type of a roll bar system to support the soft top. And there's two different types, and I'll show you some pictures here in a little bit. But there's an external roll system, 
and an internal roll bar system. To kind of give you an idea, and a lot of people don't even notice this, but if you go to the website, go to Helderberg, and if you look at the red D90 soft top Santorini, that's the external roll bar system. And if you look at Aniran, the Phoenix orange soft top, that's the internal roll bar system. So I just want to preface it with that. It's important to understand that because if you're deciding, hey, I want a soft top, that's one of the things you want to know. When you go with the internal roll bar system, you have more options to tops, meaning the soft top, um, various colors. So when you're doing a, the design of a D90 soft top, you can get black tops, you can get tan tops. Those are the most common colors, tan, beige, whatever you want to call it. However, if you want to get creative, um, which in fact we're creating some of these now, I don't know, I think we got five or six builds with different color tops. One of the tops that we're doing is a dark brown top. So you can do different color tops. That Just know that's available. It doesn't always have to be black or tan. It can be black, tan, blue, brown, green, you know, it's it, it's not this it can't be any color into the rainbow but there is various different color tops that are available so that's d90 d110 uh tops are a little limited you can pretty much do like a brown a tan and a black so that's what happens with that um the d110 frame system and i hope i'm not hopping around too much on this but like the roll bar system uh Primarily, it's going to be the internal system. Um, you can do the external system. They're just a little harder to get. So let me do this. Let me just show you the roll bar system now. So let me see here. Let's go. I'm going to go back. All right. All right. There we go. All right. Let me pull you guys off here. Ooh, off Instagram and flip this camera and show you what I mean. So if you look, you'll see, if you look really close, all right, I had to stand up. I couldn't reach the monitor. But if you look really close, what you'll notice is on the red one, it has an internal, I mean, external bar. See the bar that's in front of the windscreen, the windshield, and it comes out beside the top there. I hope you guys can see that on Instagram. Well, that bar, and then it hooks to the wing, which is called, you know, it's a wing known as a fender. But that frame system goes all the way through is what happens. All right, let me put Instagram guys back here. I wish Instagram made it a little easier to broadcast, guys. It's like really set up for a phone, that's for sure. All right, there we go. So that bar actually goes all the way to the frame. It is a functional roll bar system. And it's the same thing in the near, in the orange one, where it's an internal system. Instagram guys, just go to the website and check it out. Just pull it up while you're while I'm broadcasting live here. Um, but you see the difference the external bar system what it does is it gives the truck a little more of a rugged feel in my opinion and then the internal makes it look a little more classic too so that's the bar system that i've been harping about now for five minutes there's also another variation when you do soft tops too for uh again instagram guys go to the website and check out santorini the red one and a near and the orange soft top both D90s. Notice the doors. So if you look at the door on Santorini, the red one, and you look at the door on an ear and the orange one, the door handle specifically, you'll see the door handle is recessed on the red one. In other words, it's an open cut and it's a lever system versus a near and has a standard looking door handle with a push knob. So there you go. There, there's a little different option there for you. All right, let me go back here. All right, so here's a question: Which type? Which 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 style do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the external roll bar or the internal roll bar when it comes to a soft top? 
So love to hear your comment on that. Um, me, it just depends on the build of what I'm trying to accomplish. But you, I mean, unless you're going to have a couple soft tops, you know, that's always an option. It is a slippery slope. Just so you guys know, you get one defender, then you want two, then you want three. Oh, it's, it's rough. So, so that's the system there. Um, let's talk about some, a question that I get asked very often when it comes to soft tops. And so Bob likes internal. Yeah, I do too. It's, it's got that classic feel. Um, the question I get asked a lot is, can you have both a soft top and a hard top? In other words, can I, can you get a soft top and then, uh, put a hard top on over the top of it. And the question or the answer is kind of, sort of, there is a couple companies that do make a hard top that will basically pop in place on your soft top. Um, however, the fit and finish, I've never been really uh, impressed. So I would say technically, yes, you can get it. Uh, realistically no i wouldn't do it it's just fit and finish it leaks it's ugly it's noisy it's just um just not the best so answer is when you decide it's either i would say decide either soft top or hard top it's up to you the pros of the soft top though is the entire top will come off you can pull that soft top off and it only takes maybe 10 minutes it's pretty quick uh, to put it back on is about 15 minutes. It's pretty quick and pretty easy. So that's a pro. It comes off easy, goes back on easy. Unlike, you know, some of you guys have ever experienced Jeeps. It's not the easiest process to do. Another pro is if you just like to have the top off, if you're in a climate where it makes sense, I mean, it's great. I will also tell you too, when you take the top off, it's, uh, it does bring the noise level down. I mean, it, it's quieter with the top off because you, you know, you got the straps in there and it, it kind of hits and everything else. Overall, though, a soft top on a Defender D90 is not that bad. I mean, it's definitely not like a hard top. It's not quite like that and it never will be, but it's not bad. In fact, I have a video on Instagram in my highlights, I believe, and actually on Helderberg.com where I'm running the sound meter on my iPhone and uh, driving around so you can hear it with a soft top. It's not bad. You can do hands-free calls. You can have a conversation. Um, granted, until you get up to about 65 or 70 miles an hour, it gets a little noisy. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, they don't really leak. I get asked that a lot. Um, you might get a little bit of leak at the top, at the top of the windscreen, the windshield. But all you have to do is cinch the straps. You have two straps overhead. You just cinch those straps a little tighter and that leak will probably go away. And it's rare that it leaks. I mean, it, you really have to be in a downpour for it to leak. Um, you don't have to, another thing is you don't have to take the top off completely. You can roll the windows up on the side and roll the windows up, roll the window up on the back and just kind of expose, you know, yourself to the elements that way. All right. What else can I tell you about soft top and, uh, because I plan on cutting this one kind of short tonight. My mom's here. I haven't seen my mom since Christmas, so I want to go hang out with her. I know. What am I thinking? You know, I can have the chance to hang out with you guys. But, uh, you know, got to be with mom. All right. Um, what else can I tell you? What questions do you guys have? I've just been rambling away here, talking about the soft top, hard top, all that. Um, what else could I tell you? Um Hmm. Tops. There is different style of tops. I can tell you that. Um, and what I mean by that is you can have a soft top that just has the windows on either side and a window on the back. So it has three windows, which you can see that on Santorini on the website. Or you can get a fancier top, one that has more windows in it. Well, you feel the wind or hear the wind. You don't feel it, but I feel it. Um, you have a window on either side and then you have like Alpine windows on the very top. And then in the rear, you have the rear window, but then you have the rear cargo windows around there. So you have three windows in the back and you have the option and then you would have two windows on either side. Um, 
covered that. Uh, is it tough to take it? Uh, is it tough to take the top on and off? And no, it's not. Ten minutes off, fifteen minutes on, easy to do. So uh, again, so tops you can get one that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows, or get one that has three windows. So there you go. Um, if you go with the external frame system, you're going to get the three window system. If you go with the internal frame system, you can get the seven windows or the three windows. So there you go. Uh, another thing talking about soft tops, are they easy to maintain? And the answer is yes. Uh, soft tops, uh, the canvas, they're made out of canvas, has come a long way. It can take a lot of UV abuse, a lot of snow, a lot of rain, and they will last you a long time. They, I've never seen one start to crack after several years and i think the difference is it's not a convertible top that's compacting you know and stretching and compacting and stretching so it's a lot easier on the top so durability yes they'll last a long time things you want to clean it off with just damp water uh you don't want to put any kind of detergents on it or anything and definitely on the side windows side windows you want to be super careful with those or any of the windows the clear windows because you can scratch those pretty easy so anytime you go to clear clean those spray it off with a hose and get you a lot of microfiber towels the good ones don't get the cheap ones um, advanced auto and auto zone they have the cheap ones go to amazon and look for the chemical guys uh, microfiber cloths, those are the good ones, and uh, pay the little extra money so you don't get the scratches in your windows. So that's that. Um, on the soft tops too, you do have the option, depending on the top, to have a different color on the inside. So if you get a black top, you could have a different color on the inside. Um, that's an option. However, the manufacturer, there's one manufacturer that makes that, and uh, it's uh, those are a little harder to get take on and you know put on take off put on take off because they have snaps versus the other version that you'll see on most of my trucks has a plastic strip that just flips under a channel so it's super quick like that all right so what else um can you have the side good question why can you have the side windows tinted and the answer is no you can't uh because you're rolling those up and tint is just like a plat as like a film and it will come off it will it just won't last so no you can't tint it um that'd be cool if you could but nope you can't uh what else can i tell you guys about soft tops it's getting cold out here sheesh see how desperate we are in the northeast to be able to get outside they were like oh we're gonna go outside and it's uh you know i think it's i don't know what it is it's a little chilly so it's windy all right, what other questions do you guys have? Um, what else can I tell you about soft tops versus a hard top? Uh, should you get one? And the answer quite simply is if you like a convertible and if you like a soft top, then yeah, you should get one. If you've never really been into convertibles or consider you're like, I'm not really a convertible person. I prefer the lines on anything, whether it's a Defender or a Aston Martin or whatever, a Porsche. I prefer the lines of a hard top. That's just me personally, but you know what? I'm so white on blue that I get in the sun 15 minutes and I, I just burn. I'm like a crispy critter in 15 minutes. So it doesn't make a lot of sense for me because I would just, I would burn myself. So anyway, all right. So uh, what else can I tell you? I'll tell you that soft tops are a little more expensive than hard than a hard top because the Defender comes with the hard top on it. It's already there. So you're having to when you do a soft top, you're having to buy the roll bar system. And then uh, so you have to buy that roll bar system and you also have to buy the soft top versus a hard top. You have the hard top, but you're replacing all the windows, all the glass, and you're doing all the body work to make it nice. So uh, I tell you that if you were doing it for yourself, just know that that's what's going to happen. But anyway, all right, guys, if you don't have any other questions, like I said, mom is here. I'm going to go hang out with mom. But if you do have questions, please do let me know. And I hope you guys can hear me on Instagram. My little microphone's flashing. That's weird. So it's my battery. It's saying 3%. So anyway. All right. 
So let me tell you this. Um, June 18th through the 20th is Rovers in the Woods. I hope you guys can join me. But uh, we will be in the backyard here and the side yard over there and the side yard over there. So hundreds of acres. And we'll be driving defenders. We'll be doing axe throwing, archery. Uh, Vincent said he's bringing... Uh, Pellet guns, I believe he said. Air airsoft guns, pellet. I believe that's what it would be. So we'll do some shooting there, but we'll do some off-road trails. We'll cook out. There's possibility we will have a band here. Uh, we'll have people camping. If you don't want to camp, you can stay at the American Hotel or the Otsego in Cooperstown, New York. And uh, so, yeah, we lost sound on Instagram for whatever reason. So, but anyway... Sorry, guys. So Instagram, guys, I'm talking about Rovers in the Woods. So with that, come join me. And I'm going to end it there because, like I said, I'm going to go have my Easter dinner now. So have a wonderful one. And, yeah, i seen that. Sorry, guys. No sound on Instagram. But I think it's back. So I'm going to end it here and go from there. Thanks, guys. Have a good night and happy Easter.